What up, Reader Fam? Today I'm bringing you another testing weird bookish products. I've been searching the internet trying to find some more interesting bookish products, and I finally found some interesting products, so I'm gonna go over them with you guys today. I also just wanted to throw it out there that this video is not sponsored at all. I bought all these products with my own money except for one. One was a gift. But yeah, for the most part, I wasted my own money on this stuff. Also, be sure to link all the products down below in the description. Let's begin, shall we? First up here, I have these glasses. These were actually given to me as a gift for my sister like two years ago, I wanna think for Christmas and I forgot that I had them so I thought that I would test them out for you today. Talk about fashion. You can't even see my eyeballs. <laughs> These are actually glasses that you can use where you're just sitting up straight like this. You're not looking down and if you want to read all you have to do is hold the book right here and I can see the text of the book because this right here is a mirror so it's reflecting the book into the glasses. Is that making sense? I don't know if this is making sense. This is kind of trippy because I can see this book right now and I can't see the camera and it's kind of freaking me out a little bit. What's happening? I'm having having a malfunction. Okay, maybe if I just take these off, I'll be better. Yeah, I'm much better now. Whoa. I don't know if I'm explaining these well enough, but basically, if you don't want to be going like this all the time, looking down at your book, or if you just don't want to hold up the book anymore, you can use these handy dandy glasses and you can just sit like this and not even have to look down like this. They're pretty nifty. I'm going to see if I can show you by using the camera. We'll see how this works. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. This kind of gives you an idea as to what the glasses do. Wow, they look even better on top of my head like this. I am styling now. I look like a freaking bunny. These are great if you have like neck pain or something and it hurts for you to look down like this. I will say that it can be a little bit distracting because there's like a line right down the middle that you can see in the glasses. So it takes some getting used to, it takes some adjusting, but they're pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. Though I will say that I would probably only use these if I really, really had to use them. Like if my neck just could not look down no more, then I would for sure use these. Next up, we have this here book stand. This is for when you're wanting to go hands-free with a book, you're tired of holding a book and you just want someone else to hold it for you. For some reason, I just got a visual of a very wealthy reader who has like a butler who just like holds a book for them while they're reading and flips pages for them. That would be interesting. If anybody out there has a butler that would let me use them for a product review video, send them my way. I'm totally kidding. But also email me. This book stand works best with the normal standard hardcover size and also with paperbacks. If you do use a hardcover book with this book stand, I would advise taking the dust jacket off. There's a metal clasp in the back that could do some damage and we don't want that damage. We do not support book damage on this channel. Even though I'm pretty sure I've thrown around a book in a few videos. But let's not talk about that. I will say that I found that this device does not work well with tall hardback books for some reason. It just does not want to cooperate with the device. The tall hardback just can't be tamed by this device. It does not want to stand in the book stand. It'd rather be held by a reader. I will say this is also nice because it's really easy to carry around. It's just easy to really flatten it out and carry it with you wherever you may take it. Though I don't think I would take this out in public because I I imagine people would walk by and be like, what's happening here? Are you like setting up for a book museum or something? Because it literally looks like you're putting your book on display, which actually, now that I think about it, that's another use for this product. This could totally work as a book display. You could set this on your bedside table. You could set it on your bookshelf if there's a book that you want to put out and display. This might be really good to put on your bedside table because you can put the book that you're currently reading in it and it will stand there and haunt you and taunt you and try to get you to read it at every hour of the day and night. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea. One thing that I do find to kind of be a bit of a hassle with this is that it's hard to turn the page when the book is in this product. It's got a metal holder that is pretty easy to move out of the way, but it's just going to be kind of annoying to have to do it with every single page that you flip. They didn't really factor in the fact that you're going to have to constantly be turning the page. Flip that page. That kind of sounds like it could be a dance move. Do the flip the page. Do the flip the page. That was kind of cringy. I'm sorry. But also not sorry. I'm just going to flip the page on my haters. Anyways, back to the product. I do think this is actually a really cool product. And though I might not I use it while I'm reading. I do think I might use this to like set my current read on it just to like have it sitting there. So it will be a constant reminder that I need to pick back up my current read and finish it. Next we have this product called the Rubber Page Flipper, which is the literal title. It is called the Rubber Page Flipper. This was a product that when I was testing it, I became obsessed with. Even though this is kind of a little bit of a pricier product, I think it's going to last me a while. That is until I lose these little doodads. I believe these were actually created for people who are constantly working with paperwork because it makes it easier for them to maneuver through the paperwork but basically it's got this very rubbery rubber feeling to it. I mean the title is rubber page flipper so it is rubber. How many times am I gonna say rubber? As many times as I feel like it. But anyways it's also got these nice little grips on the rubber so when you flip through the page it's kind of grabbing onto the page and helping you flip as you make the flip motion helping the page move over. I will say that the sound effect it makes when the page turns will either be music to your ears or nails on a chalkboard. 
To me, it's music to my ears. There are two big reasons why I really like this. The first reason is that sometimes I do use a pen to help guide my eyesight while I'm reading and to help me stay focused on the words because sometimes I get a little crazy eyes and I'm just like, and I just need a little bit of guidance, you know? Sometimes it's nice to have a buddy old pal to guide your steps. Also, sometimes I write down things in my books. <gasps> Scandalous! So I can write down some thoughts while also getting help flipping the page. The one problem with these things is that they're kind of small and I feel like I'll lose them within a month or two. <laughs> Lastly, I have here this handy dandy neck light. Not only does this provide light around your neck, it also doubles as a scarf. Look at how fashion I am. This is taking readers under a cover with a flashlight to a whole new level. Something that I really like about this product is that the lights have different levels. Level one, we've got level two, we've got level three, and we've got that's it. So it's got differing levels of intensity when it comes to the lights. And I really like that because your boy has really sensitive eyes. I will say that I would probably find this really distracting because I'm just not used to having something around my neck. So I'm just like... And I feel like while I'm reading, I'll just be very aware of this around my neck. Like it's already starting to irritate the back of my neck. And I also feel like this would just be a major distraction because I'm really immature and I would probably just end up playing with it instead of actually reading. <laughs> I'd probably end up making shadow puppets instead of reading if we're being realistic here. It is a pretty decent product though and I definitely recommend it if this is something that you're into. So those are the four bookish products that I'm going over today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, I'm not gonna lie, even though I'm probably not really going to incorporate any of these products into my reading life. I think I'll for sure use the rubber page flipper and I'll probably use the book stand to display my current read. You guys should let me know below in the comments your thoughts on these products, which one do you think you would use if you picked one up? Also let me know down below in the comments if you guys wanna see me make more videos like this one. Cause I'll do it if you guys wanna see it. Just because I really love you guys though. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to see more bookish content from me, be sure to go and hit subscribe or go and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time I post new videos. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye-choo.